Hey there friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team. Um, remember, you can use the code Lori15 to get a 15% discount. Now, this process video is actually a live recording of when I pardon the redundancy, but um, when I went live over at the Spiegel Mom Scraps Facebook group called Spread the Sparkle. Um, you'll notice that I do pause every now and then because as per every live session, um, I interact with other people. So yeah, basically what I'm doing now is trying to go over the whole thought process of how I put together um, some of the patterned paper, some of the color sequins and embellishments to use to document this picture. This is this picture is a true six by four picture. I don't trim it down at all. And I thought the colors in the picture went well with that acetate sheet. That acetate sheet measures six by twelve, but I do trim it down a bit to be six by eleven and a half. And I made it into a big shaker pocket slash embellishment piece. But here I was, I'm still like going over like my thought process. I'm going to use these colors and whatnot. But yeah, so I chose these six packets of Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins, but I only end up using three of those. Um, and you'll see those in a bit. So I finally like got things started and I first set off to do, um, I first start doing the shaker pocket element. So I grab some craft foam and make a border all around um, the six by 12 acetate sheet. And here's where I decide, no, I'm gonna trim it down just half an inch just so that I could get like that little peak of teal because the base of my layout is going to be teal. Um, just so that I, I could get like that pop of teal on the upper and lower um, lower hand corners. What am I even saying? No, it's not corners. Up and like a tiny border at the top and a tiny border at the bottom. And then here I dumped the three packets of sequins one of them was ariel's tails blue the other one was blue bonkers and um dragon tails and then here i'm basically explaining that i saw nikki Rowland do this um with her shaker pockets that she sticks some of the sequins down because when you store the layout in an album the obviously the sequins fall to the bottom and you can't really get that idea of a shaker pocket so what she does is that she glues some of them down so that you can still get the idea oh it's a shaker pocket even though the sequins are at the bottom um, so what I did is I stuck some of them down and then dumped the sequins back again placed everything placed the acetate sheet down and waited a bit for it to dry completely and there so to make it sort of like a big embellishment piece i trimmed around it and there you go a shaker pocket so i set that aside i bring in the teal cardstock and i go ahead and start explaining that i want my picture to be towards the right hand side of my layout because my sun is looking off towards the left and for me it would look weird if he would if the picture were at the left side and he'd just be staring off into basically nothing so yeah so once i got that down i decided to pull out three punches that you saw them at the beginning two of them are scallop punches and the other one is sort of like a dainty um, punch so I cut out 
So I cut down three, not three, I don't cut them down just yet, but I use two different punches to sort of form a border around my layout. So I use the bigger scallop one as my main border and I used it on that yellow paper you see there that's from Jelly Bean Soup. And the orange one I used the smaller scallop punch and I do bring in a bit of light minty teal. Um, it's one of those colors where it looks slightly green like minty green but at the same time it looks teal like a light teal so I um, with that other one with the dainty one I just punch out two borders and you'll see how I place them the whole idea behind this is to cover up the craft foam um, that I placed in my sh uh, in my shaker pocket And there I'm almost done with the punches see that's the color that I mentioned and that's the punch it's a Martha Stewart one um, it looks slightly teal but at the same time it's like a minty green so it's like between those two colors and it goes well with like the overall color scheme that I have going on because I did use big bold colors um, in my layout and you know that's perfect with me so see that's what I want to do I want to cover up those two edges where my craft foam is and then I'm gonna form a border all around with the yellow one and I thought about doing a wraparound border with the orange strips but I only end up adding it to the top and the bottom um, and it works out I like it better like that so I first glue down my yellow border then I go ahead and glue down the minty teal color well minty teal border on either side of the shaker pocket and then I pop up the orange one on some craft foam and place it at the bottom and top of the um, shaker pocket yep and like that so basically my base is officially done now I get to adding some paper layers beneath my picture and I chose this yellow cardstock as my mat around my picture and then I just add three different strips well, tree, tree. <laughs> three different pieces of patterned paper um, beneath my picture just to add a bit of layering beneath it yeah, oh and here I'm using I'm showing um, showing the people who were live with me um, the type of glue that I use because um, they were asking like what type of adhesive I use and I use the art glitter glue and I have mentioned in the live that I was I used to be a scotch girl I really liked the tacky the scotch tacky glue but for some reason what it happened a couple of times it wasn't like the one-off thing um, but I couldn't find the scotch tacky glue I couldn't buy it or either I couldn't buy it because I couldn't find it anywhere or it was just too expensive I was like I'm not gonna pay like 10 15 dollars for the small bottle it's like it's ridiculous so then I heard about the art glitter glitter glue so I bought it and I like it in fact I like it even better than the scotch tacky glue because if you notice I have a fine top fine tipped um, glue bottle towards the left hand side right above the the one with the black cap um, where 
I use it to I use that tiny bo bottle to back my cut files since it's a fine tip, but um, I n I've noticed with the art glitter glue that it doesn't clog up. Clog. What is wrong with me today? I can't even like speak properly. The coffee hasn't kicked in just yet. So um, I noticed that the Scotch tacky glue clogs up the tip more often than the art glitter glue so that's why i like it more but essentially they do the same thing they dry the same way and whatnot right now i'm just embellishing um i fussy cut out those kites from a maggie holmes carousel paper and right now i'm just bringing in some embellishments that have the colors from the picture um, that bird had the same colors and it just looked cute so i just tucked it there my title ends up being too sweet and super um, just because I really wanted to use up some thickers and some of the embellishments that I have. Also, most, most, not most, all of the items that you see here are still part of my April homemade kit. So yeah, this is officially the last layout that I made I make with that layout with that kit however in the way that I've organized the process videos that go up on my channel you will see some layouts that still have items from those kits but um, yeah but basically every every layout I make towards like from now and up until m the end of May was made with that April kit do I have leftovers? Yes, I do have some leftovers, but I will use them up in some Mother's Day products that I have, um, that I have to finish up. So yeah, and if I do have some leftovers after that, I will um, essentially I will just make like check if I can reuse them and then move them back to my um, stash or just toss them so here I'm almost done I grabbed some white acrylic paint and splashed them around my layout and I do add some splashes also of shimmers before dawn just to like have that contrasting um, white acrylic paint and um, black mixed media spray So if you're interested in knowing everything that we talked about, be sure to check out the live session over at um, Spiegel Mom Scraps Spread the Sparkle Facebook group. Um, and also if you're interested in purchasing any sort of sequins, they are, the sequins are just awesome. They are the bomb. Um, but sh you can also use my code um, Lorimar15 I'll bring it up soon here are the close ups I love how this turned out but yeah you can use the code Lorimar15 to get 15% off your next Spiegel Mom Scraps purchase just look at those gorgeous sequins I love how they I love how this all turned out and if anything guys I'll see you back soon with another process video